let us move on to the next question find the parameters of triangle ab rectangle bc de in the figure shown and also find whose perimeter is greater so let us move on to the solution so let us first name the sides of the triangle and rectangle so let the sides of the triangle be a b and e and the sides of the rectangle be a c d and f so now we need to find perimeter of triangle abe so this is triangle abe perimeter of a triangle is equal to the sum of all the sides of the triangle therefore perimeter of triangle abe is sum of all its sides that is a plus b plus e so as given in the figure the length of the side a is 2 3 by 4 cm and the length of the side b is 3 3 by 5 cm and the length of the side e is 5 by 2 cm so here we need to add all these lengths to add these lengths we observe that the side a and side b lengths are expressed as mixed fractions so let us first convert these mixed fractions into their improper form so now consider 2 3 by 4 so to convert this into its improper form this can be written as 2 times 4 plus 3 divided by 4 so 2 times 4 is 8 and 8 plus 3 is 11 so 2 3 by 4 in its improper form is 11 by 4 and now consider 3 3 by 5 let us convert this into its improper form so this can be written as 3 times 5 Plus three divided by five. So this is equal to three times five is fifteen, and fifteen plus three is eighteen. So three three by five can be written as eighteen by five. So now the sum of the sides of the triangle, that is a plus b plus e, becomes eleven by four centimeters plus eighteen by five centimeters plus five by two centimeters. Now we need to add. three fractions with different denominators to add three fractions with different denominators we need to obtain a common denominator so to obtain a common denominator we should find the lcm for the denominators 4 5 and 2 so let us find the lcm for 4 5 and since 2 and 4 are multiples of 2 let us take the prime factor 2 so 2 goes in 2 1 time and 2 goes in 4 2 times and 5 remains the same therefore LCM of four, five, and two is equal to two times two times five, which is equal to twenty. So now let us obtain their equivalent rational numbers for each of the fraction. So to obtain the equivalent rational number for eleven by four, we need to multiply with five on both the numerator and denominator. So we obtain eleven times five is fifty-five divided by twenty. And now the equivalent rational number for 18 by 5 is obtained by multiplying it with 4 on both the numerator and denominator. So we have 18 times 4 is 72 divided by 5 times 4 is 20. And now to obtain the equivalent rational number for 5 by 2, we need to multiply the rational number with 10 on both the numerator and denominator. So we have 5 times 10 is 50. Divided by two times ten is twenty. So now we have obtained the equivalent rational numbers with a common denominator twenty. So now we can directly add them. That is fifty-five by twenty plus seventy-two by twenty plus fifty by twenty. So since the denominators are same for the three fractions, we can directly add their numerators. So that is fifty-five. Plus seventy-two plus fifty. This is equal to fifty-five plus fifty is one hundred five, and one hundred five plus seventy-two is one seventy-seven by twenty centimeters. Now we need to find perimeter of rectangle BCD. So perimeter of a rectangle is the sum of all the sides of the rectangle. So here the sides of the rectangle B C D E are A C D and F. 
A and D both represent the length of the rectangle and C and F represent the breadth of the rectangle. So let us consider the length of the rectangle B23 by 4 centimeters and breadth of the rectangle 7 by 6 centimeters. Therefore perimeter of the rectangle is equal to sum of the sides of the rectangle that is 2 times the sum of its length and 2 times the sum of its breadth so this gives 2 times of L plus B which is equal to 2 times 2 3 by 4 plus 7 by 6 centimeters now let us first find the sum of 2 3 by 4 and 7 by 6 since 2 3 by 4 is a mixed fraction let us first convert it into its improper form so 2 3 by 4 can be written as 2 times 4 plus 3 divided by 4 which is 11 by 4 therefore it is 11 by 4 plus 7 by 6 so here we need to add two fractions with different denominators so to add two fractions with different denominators we need to obtain a common denominator to obtain a common denominator we shall find the LCM for the denominators 4 and 6 so since 4 and 6 are multiples of 2, let us take the prime factor 2. So 2 goes in 4 2 times and 2 goes in 6 3 times. Therefore, LCM of 4 and 6 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 which is equal to 12. So now let us find the equivalent rational numbers for 11 by 4 and 7 by 6. The equivalent rational number for 11 by 4 is obtained by multiplying the rational number with 3 on both the numerator and denominator. So this gives 33 by 12. Now we shall obtain the equivalent rational number for 7 by 6. To obtain the equivalent rational number for 7 by 6 we need to multiply with 2 on both the numerator and denominator. So this gives 7 times 2 is 14 divided by 6 times 2 is 12. So since we have obtained the equivalent rational numbers we can directly add them. So 33 by 12 plus 14 by 12 since both have same denominators we can directly add their numerators so 33 plus 14 gives 47 by 12 so now according to the formula for the perimeter of the rectangle it is 2 times of L plus B centimeters since L plus B is 47 by 12 centimeters so the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 goes in 12 6 times therefore it is 47 by 6 centimeters now we need to find whose perimeter is greater so let us compare perimeter of triangle with the perimeter of rectangle perimeter of triangle is 177 by 20 centimeters and perimeter of rectangle is 47 by 6 centimeters to compare both the fractions and decide which is greater we need to obtain a common denominator as we cannot compare two different fractions with different denominators so here we need to find a common denominator that is we need to obtain the LCM of 6 and 20 so since 6 and 20 are multiples of 2 let us consider the prime factor 2 2 goes in 6 3 times and 2 goes in 20 10 times therefore LCM of 20 and 6 is equal to 6 times 10 that is equal to 60. Now let us obtain the equivalent rational numbers for 177 by 20 and 47 by 6. 177 by 20 is to be multiplied with 3 on both the numerator and denominator to obtain the common denominator 60 and 177 times 3 is 531 therefore the equivalent rational number is 531 by 60 and now we shall obtain the equivalent rational number for 47 by 60 by multiplying it with 10 on both the numerator and denominator so we obtain 47 times 10 that is 470 divided by 60 and now we have obtained the rational numbers with the common denominator 60 so now we can compare them directly as the denominators are same since 531 is greater than 470 
531 by 60 is greater than 470 by 60 that is 177 by 20 is greater than 47 by 6 therefore perimeter of triangle is greater than perimeter of rectangle